Hey, happy Friday everyone. So today's a really fun video because I get to be working on my van a little bit more. It's finally warm enough to spend the night in it. I did that last night and it was so cozy. I love it in here now. This is a little sneak peek of the progress that I made. In this video, I'm going to be making the curtains for my van as well as painting the ceiling and doing a little bit of a mural. So thanks for watching and there's gonna be another video of doing a little bit more renovations to my van coming soon. There's a few other things that I need to do. The inside's getting there. I'm actually at the point where I'm decorating, so that's super fun. But there's some stuff that needs to be done on the outside. So subscribe if you wanna see more van updates. Let's get into it with painting everything white. So we're starting off pretty bleak with the ceiling covered in glue and pieces of foam that required a lot of scraping to get off before I could start painting. I knew painting the ceiling would make the biggest difference with the van. It would just brighten the space so much and just get rid of this like sickly yellow and brown moldy grossness. Then just for fun, I decided to paint the top of these sidings of the van white as well, just to create a nice clean canvas for some symbols, some little drawings. Growing up, I was always allowed to paint the walls of my room. My parents always encouraged me to do like little murals and stuff like that. And with my access to acrylic paint, I really took advantage of that. My door was always painted a really weird way. I would always cover it up and paint it again. So that's kind of the theory that I'm gonna go with my van. Whenever I'm working on a project or I have any extra paint or if I ever feel like it. I'm never worried just to add more or to do something new and different. That's kind of one of my favorite things about getting this really old van. There's no pressure to keep it super clean and it can be really creative and unique just cause I can do whatever I want and I don't feel like I need to hold back for any reason. Here are the pieces of fabric that I get to work with. I decided to make the curtains out of the yellow and green fabric. These fabrics were really sheer and doesn't block out any of the sun really, but I'm really okay with that because I wanted it to be a really bright space. So I have this light green fabric for one of the windows and then a light yellow fabric with little white flowers on it for the sides. This was my first time using a sewing machine in a long time and it required a little bit of work to just get started. That was the hardest part. Once I got everything threaded properly, the curtains actually didn't take very long at all, even with hemming all the sides and making a lot of little mistakes along the way. But I'm really happy with how they turned out.
I used a really heavy black blanket for the front and that works really well for blocking out any light or vision from the front windows. And to put this up, I just screwed in a copper pipe that I found lying around. I thought it looked really nice. It was a really nice color. So why couldn't I use it as a curtain rod? I also had these flags that I had made for a previous apartment, so I put them around the van as well because I thought they were really cute. I added a few of my own posters. This blue star is so adorable. I just found it at Bayou Village for like $6 a few weeks ago. It's meant for a candle or something, but I really want to put a plant in there. I think that would be so adorable. So thanks for watching, and I can't wait to go on a wilderness adventure soon. See ya!